Hello from my name is Yellow and welcome back to episode 52 of WWE Supercard and um, yeah, New Road to Glory has started, main prize being Dino Bryan, I think we touched up on that yesterday just a little bit and I started New King of the Ring, as I said I would um, last episode, yes that's right, <laughs> oh so it's getting weird pretty early on, but I started a new King of the Ring, like I said I would, nine hours ago now at 11am GMT, and we have a couple of people in it, I don't know if it's any of you guys, you'll need to leave a comment if any of these are you, but we have Andrevs, who if you remember, he was in my last King of the Ring, and I faced him in the finals, and lost. In my very last King of the Ring, what's the chances, and now he's in this one as well, maybe he's on the same time zone thing as me, he also does uh, King of the Rings at the same time as I do, but yeah, he's in this too, was surprised to see him, but there he is, we also have Wayne, Nick, Van Quiff, Tony, McDub, Barry, Mailenders, Cristiano, Oyan, uh, Wolf, Cub, 5195, Enio, 187, Cook Dog, Madly, and Woof Woof, and yeah, I don't think there's many bots, I think these two at the bottom are bots, and everyone else isn't a bot. Dun dun dun! I know, what is the chances in in that? From going from um, no 12 bots to 2, that's quite the change. But uh, yeah, I'm doing alright. 7 to 2, that's not bad. Let's look at the guys who I've lost against. So, we'll just go from the top. So, uh, oh, Yan was one of them. He got lucky. He's got a much better tag team, though. He refreshed his guys as well for this second match. Don't know why, but he did. So he got, he's got a better tag team, okay. Uh, I won his Diva because he only got one Nikki Bella Fusion, and what happened there? Uh, how? Mm -hmm. So energy after one match went down enough for Seth Rollins maxed out to get the win? Really though? Power speed over Bret Hart? Hmm, even one match uh, fitness fatigue. That's a bit strange, but I lost that match. Now I lost to Van Quift as well because he just he's gonna win. Well, he could win. Uh, he has a much better tag team than me. He's got Brock Lesnar Pro, which I wasn't ready for, and then he also had the Diva. And so yeah, that's that. <sighs> so I'm expecting also have Bret Hart because who has who doesn't have Bret Hart? He's got Brock and Trips. He's gonna have Bret Hart. Let's face it. So Bret would have been his other solo. So I pretty much know his team, and you know he's he's not doing uh two. Well, he's doing okay. Six and three. I'm on seven and two. I'm doing better than him. I mean, I've still got some fierce competition to go up against, like Nick, who's doing as good as me. Wayne, who's up top, and then Andrevs, who my mortal enemy, who's currently in first, is my last game. Which means when I get all the way down to the final game, it's gonna be against him. So that's going to be tough, but uh, I don't know, I'm not hopeful on getting to the finals in this one at all, I'm really not hopeful. I might, but at this stage, I'm really not sure, I might, I don't know, I'm not sure. It's going to be tough, but if we go further down here, you'll see I'm doing well in this Road of Glory. I am now 10 points away from getting RVD, uh, yeah, pretty, pretty quick. Uh, <laughs> and we'll look at my team. Oh yes, fusion completed. The survivor fusion completed. Hannah got Freddy Blasty. Perfect timing, really. Perfect timing. I got him. Um, right as when I was about to jump into King of the Ring, it was dead on 11 a.m. is when I got this card. And then I put him in my King of the Ring. Started the King of the Ring at about three minutes past 11. And yeah, perfect timing to get him for the road to glory and I started training a Pidge too, she's level 21 out of 50, going well. I finished maxing out Jericho so, you know, soon I'm gonna get a second Jericho ready to pro straight away. Well, I'm, I need to max him out too, but you, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. But anyway, I'm 10 points away from getting RVD. Let's get him. Let's get him right now. Let's, let's go. Diesel, DMF, you are gonna be my opponent. He has played 55 thousand games my god okay that's fine I haven't lost a match yet so far um, so it should be good I'll just use the boosts and we're sorted for the rest of eternity so we'll start off strong here getting rid of um, Andre and Mr. Dean Ambrose 
who will pick up the win over John Cena Pro and Sean Mickles. Legendary Pro, of course. So there we go. Win. Plus 24 all stats now on... It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'm picking Bray. Picking Bray. And I... we, uh, we tie anyway. Okay. Well... Did, did he use Freddy Blassie in the first match? He must have used something. He, yeah, I think he did. I think he did. But uh, we have another matchup here. We'll use Eve. And that was the correct choice. We would have lost with uh, Steph or Mac. And we will lose. We will lose. <laughs> it is speed unmatchable um, with any other legendaries. Apart from Bree. Bree has great speed. Why? Don't know. She does though. Much better speed than Nikki. I don't know. I don't know. But we'll continue onwards with The Rock and Jericho. Who uh, I'm ready. I'm ready to get short head Jericho. I'm ready. But first we've got to get RVD by winning this match. Which we've done now. Let's face it. We're too far gone. With 7-2. If you get up to 8, you're guaranteed to win because there is a possible, possible of 16 matches. You've got to remember that because, um, you know, 4 rounds of 4 cards, that's possible of 16, get halfway is 8, and if you draw 8-8, eight, eight, it counts as a win. So you just got to get 8 points and you, you've won. Um, but um, most of the time, well, I don't think I've ever had a match where it's went up to 16. I've had matches where it's went up to 15 points. Like, um, 8 7 or something, but I've never had like a, a 16 point match. It just it just doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. Um, but yeah, yeah, I've won. I've won, and I'm gonna get RVD Survivor RVD. I haven't had one of him before, so that's something new to get. And it's all good. It's all good. So boom! Uh, Roman Reigns hits the hits the frog splash victory. 11-3. Easy mode. Easy mode. And there we go. RVD is mine. Survivor RVD. Now I'm on to the Jericho-holic himself, Chris Jericho. And oh, Big John. St oh, I've hit the car limit too. So much going on there. But yeah, RVD. What a pull. What a pull. Look at that. Look at that card. Look at that. I mean, I'm not going to use them at all, probably, but, you know, it's there, it's there. I, 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 I got another survivor card, so it's something, you know, it's something. But uh, I'm going to continue training a page, um, so I get rid of some of these rare cards. I've got to keep two for the fusions, uh, so, you know, it, it can be Hogan. It can be Hogan, look at him, look at him. <laughs> it's great, but uh, let's get rid of all these, and let's get ready to rumble. Let's get ready, ready, let's get ready, ready. Let's I get ready to win the entire road of glory. So, Paige just went up another level there. All these common, uncommon cards though. I'm expecting three levels. Are you ready? I'm thinking three. Um, I had to get rid of Big E Pro. I've had him there for a long time, but Fusion's finished and I had to get another rare card, which is what is in the works right now. I think it finishes in about an hour's time. Oh, oh, didn't mean click that. Ugh, I've screwed everything up. Oh, I haven't. Okay. I thought that reset everything when you clicked that. Never mind. Um, so yeah, I've got a rare fusion. It's a rare... I, it might be... Yeah, actually, it's super rare fusion. Finishing in about an hour's time. But let's just see. I'm thinking three levels. Spot on. Spot on. There we go. Page level 25 out of 50. Halfway there. Will I be able to max her out by the time I get Jericho? Probably not. Which... Uh... What do I want to do? What do I want to do? If I get Jericho, do I want to focus straight away on training him up? Or focus on finishing Paige first? I think it's got to be Paige first, because even though Jericho would be like, here, fourth best, it's like, that's a full card, and then his pro card to get all the way up there. Whereas Paige, you know, 25 levels. I might as well finish Paige off first. I'll finish, I'll finish Paige off first, but anyway. Jericho is up next, 18 matches away. I wonder if we can do plus 10s all the way, maybe. But then I've got the d Bryce, and then I'm done. And then I'm done. But, uh, yeah. This Road of Glory's been going smoothly. Like I said, I haven't lost a match yet. I'll do another one, I'll do another one. I haven't lost a match yet. It's been all plain sailors. He's all... Oh, oh. 
Oh, I was thinking he already has WrestleMania Chris Jericho, but... Well, he might have. He might have got this Chris Jericho that I'm aiming for now. Or he might have just pulled a different Jericho from some other time. Um, who knows? Who knows? But uh, after this Road of Glory finishes and my King of the Ring finishes, this next King of the Ring I do, I'm expecting it to go really well because I've got Freddy Blassie, who's a giant help for King of the Rings. I will have Daniel Bryan Pro, who him, Triple H, Bret Hart, and Damien Sandow. Who, who's going to be that? Who's who's going to be that? You know, not many people. But you know, it's it's just a matter of time before everyone has that. Uh, well, maybe not Sandow, but think about it. Everyone already has Triple H and Bret Hart, so. People will have Daniel Bryan soon enough, so I'm thinking it, it's going to be this way. It's going to be Daniel Bryan and um, Bret Hart as solos, and then Triple H and someone else as a tag team, and then a diva. That's how it's going to be for most um, most King of the Rings. But I have Sandow though, so mine is going to be Sandow and Bret Hart, okay, and then. Daniel Bryan Triple H as the tag team because that's just not gonna be beat. It's not gonna be beat at all Daniel Bryan looks to have great speed and charisma. Those are the two things that uh, could be boosted on Triple H a bit and You know Triple H's power is off the charts so him and Daniel Bryan together as a tag team That's gonna be the best tag team on the game. Hands down it will be and then I'm gonna have Bret Hart It was great and Sandow who's basically exactly as good as Bret Hart. He has six Worse speed, but six better charisma. Perfect. Perfect partnership for the solos. It's just a shame that Sandow's um, energy levels are so low because, you know, he's only got 93 out of 93, so every match he goes down like 150 points. So I need to keep replenishing his energy more often than anyone else, but, you know, it's fine, it's fine. You know, I'm, I'm constantly getting energy cards from this Road of Glory. I'll probably get like three here alone from 11 picks. Let's just see. I'm going to quickly speed through so you can't see any cards and then you'll just see them at the end. I'm going to predict two energy cards, okay, from 11 picks. Let's see. Let's see. Keep going. Keep it going. Don't want to see any of them. Don't want to see any. Oh, that was all of them. Okay, so there's one. One. Well, I was close. <laughs> I was close. But I'm already 10 points out of 180 for Jericho now. It's going well. I'll definitely get Jericho by the end of tonight and get to work on Dino Bryan for tomorrow. That's great. But yeah, 1 hour 47 minutes away from getting a super rare fusion. Um, so, you know, I'll end at some point tonight. This is my exhibition team. It hasn't changed at all. Uh, King of the Ring, like I've already showed you that too. It's just boom, that there, right there. I've got to have this in here because if I had anything else, like if I had Charisma there or if I had this other boost there, the Toughness Charisma, um, then that would be used before the boost on the team. And I would rather have the 24 to all deck, and the only way for that to happen is to have a worse card than a plus 24 to stats. So I had to put this in here as the other stat so that it never gets picked. And so Freddy Blassie's always been picked first round no matter what the matchup is. And then I've got plus 24 stats to the deck for the entire matchup. So that's just perfecto mundo. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. So hopefully I can carry on forwards into the future. And maybe I can scrape through at the finals. Who knows? Who knows? I might get lucky again. I might not though. I don't think I will be. I'm thinking I'm going to get the semis and then get knocked out. But I might be wrong. I might be wrong. I hope I am wrong. I would love to get the finals and get another WrestleMania card. But it doesn't matter because even if I get a WrestleMania Pro, the only one that can help my team is a Diva. So if I get Eve or Paige again, then that will help my team. But apart from that, Diamond Bryant's going to take Dean Ambrose's spot there in my exhibition team. And then, yeah, no WrestleMania Pros. Can beat my team. Apart from a diva. Apart from a diva. So hopefully I get diva at some point. Hopefully Paige or Eve. Um, but who knows? Probably won't happen for a long time getting a WrestleMania Pro Diva. But I might get lucky. Um, but anyway, that's gonna be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like up the video. It helps me out a lot. Subscribe if you aren't already. And other than that, I will see you next time.